Day three of the trial over mask mandate bans in school. And today, defense attorneys for Governor Ron DeSantis presented their final witnesses. The governor argues that parents should decide whether kids wear masks. Several Florida families who sued say it should be up to local school districts who should be allowed to govern themselves. Eight on your side political reporter Evan Donovan joins us now from the Tampa News Center with a breakdown. I know this was supposed to wrap today. It did not. It did not. We will be going to a day four. Spoiler alert there, Stacy. Today, though, the governor's team presented several parents who talked about their children having difficulty learning with masks on. Several moms testified on day three of the trial, saying their children are having learning and health issues from wearing masks. She was wearing a mask, had to wear a mask last school year, and um, she's otherwise healthy. 15-year-old, uh, now 15-year-old, and last year, for the first time ever, she was coming home often, um, almost daily with headaches and just not feeling good. Another mom who testified for the governor's side claimed her children are safer without the mask than with it. I have to remember, as a parent, when I'm told to do something, I don't just do it. I look at the facts. I look at data. Okay. Attorneys for the family suing the governor questioned Dr. Jay Bhattacharya, the Stanford professor of medicine and economics, about how he hasn't treated patients since medical school. And they pushed him on what an acceptable death rate for children would be. I mean, I reject the premise of the question. The question is not what's an acceptable death rate. The, the question is, what are the trade-offs implicit? The family suing the governor finished with a rebuttal witness, USF Dr. Tony Kreisman, who said the governor misrepresented the Brown University study he used in his executive order to justify banning mask mandates. That study actually states quite clearly, I think it's on the last page, uh, that it should not be used to imply that masks are ineffective. Now, the main portion of the trial ended today, but as you mentioned, Stacey, both sides will be back for closing arguments tomorrow morning. So when will a ruling come? Do we know? We do. Actually, the judge tipped his hat. He said he needs to use all of tomorrow to go through the exhibits after the closing arguments. He's going to rule on several motions, but he's calling both sides back Friday morning to issue a ruling. All right. Evan Donovan, live for us. Thank you.